Let's talk about the NFC East. And we'll start with the America's team, their beloved Dallas Cowboys. And usually this team gets a little bit of an easy road. They have like the easiest schedule year after year after year. They definitely had the easiest schedule last year. Not so much this year. Um, have them as the, the tenth easiest schedule. They do have three short week road games and um net prep minus two. So not as easy of a season as we've seen in previous years for this Cowboys team. This is another team who does well versus, you know, the less dance. They're 25 and 4 versus non-playoff teams last three seasons. Only what, 12 and 14 versus the playoff teams. Um so I think about them kind of how I view the Dolphins a little bit. And I forgot to mention they they're supposed to be favored, expected to be favored in 14 games, underdog in three games. They've won 12 games the past three seasons, but I think it's time for a decline here in uh, 2024-25. You have, for one, you got rid of Tony Pollard and you get Zeke back again. I mean, when Zeke was on the team, when they both were on the team, that's the reason you probably were willing to let him go because you were so much better with Pollard back there. Um, Dak, just not a guy that I trust. This is Dak. You know, Dak and McCarthy, neither one of them are signed um, after this season. So if things start to go sour, I can see either one, if not both of them quit. And um, I just think that the defense, I'm looking at those numbers here. Yeah, they have a few playmakers. You got Micah Parsons, you get Diggs back over there. But in 2023, they're a number team and spent number 10 in spending, I'm sorry, on the defensive end. Looking at them this year, number 27. So if they're not really just blowing teams away offensively, I'm not sure that the defense can do it for them this year. Um, I would be looking more towards under, whether 10 and a half or 10. I see the numbers changing. A lot of people betting this one under. I would be in agreement with that. That's the only way I can look at the Dallas Cowboys in 2024-25. I will mention this is a team that led the NFL in first quarter points. So maybe if you if you like them week in, week out, you can look towards that first quarter. And that's a McCarthy thing. Tighter ahead after the first quarter in 14 out of 17 games. That's what, 82%. And when he was with the Packers, um, he was ahead or tied after the first quarter, 71 out of 96 games, 74%. So he does well getting out the gate, um, you know, game planning early those scripted plays, however you want to call it. So if you like the Cowboys, you know, week by week, you might want to look at that first quarter. Other than that, I'm looking towards an under on the season win total. Next on the list, we will go over to the Philadelphia Eagles. And they have a win total. Very, very, I mean, the same win total. Ten and a half is what the bookmakers are putting up there. And they're expected to be favored in 13 games underdogs and four looking at a couple things here um number one what stands out to me is you got saquon barkley i think that's a big addition especially you know he has success running behind that giants offensive line and they're terrible when you now put him behind a much better eagles offensive line i think it only you know is a recipe for success eagles have the ninth easiest schedule so far this season um they did lose a couple guys. Fletcher Cox retired. Kelsey retired. They lost Hassan Reddick, so they did lose some guys. But they, you know, they improved the defense some through the draft. They did get Gardner Johnson back. Um, you got Bryce Huff for the pass rush. So some good things still, even though they lost some pieces. And just thinking about what they did wrong in, in last year, um, I feel like Hurts was just holding on to the ball a little bit too long, taking too long to throw. Those throws are resulting in short passes, and um, they're able to get a lot more pressure because he's holding the ball too long. So they can fix that. They can get back to some offensive success. Um, last season, they played six games at a rest disadvantage. They did not cover one. Um, so with the much easier schedule this year, it could be a team to do better ATS-wise. Ten and a half wins is at minus 155 right now. And I can understand it. I just got finished talking about how the Cowboys, you know, have a little bit of a tougher go of it. How I'm just not in really not really impressed with what they have there. 
and the other two teams in the division are bottom feeders. So by process of elimination, I think the Eagles should win this division, and I would look towards their win total over the 10.5. I'm betting it. Next, we will move over to the New York Giants. And let me get them over here on my sheet. Here with me. I like to keep notes on the computer and I like to write notes. I'm old school. So my bad, you guys. Bear with me. I got a notebook full of notes for NFL. New York Giants, they are listed at six and a half wins. They're expected to be favored in three games, underdogs in 14. Um, last season, let's just take a look. Last season, they won six games. Uh, with their win total right where it is right now, six and a half. So it's not a whole lot to like for this team. I mean, we just talked about Saquon going to the Eagles. Um, that makes, you know, them lighter in the running back. Their quarterback, Daniel Jones, I mean, he just had a big knee surgery, right? I'm not really big on that. In my opinion, they had the worst offensive line, the worst secondary. It's just, what do we really like for this team? One thing I'll say is they did get a new offensive line coach, so he should be, you know, you know, helping, you know, that should be a main focus and he should be trying to fix um, that worst offensive line that we saw last year. They gave up the worst. They had a minus 51 sack margin. That's the worst since 2000. So only uh, one other team has been worse than that offensive line that we saw. You did get Brian Burns to help out on the edge on that defensive line. It just, it just, boy, this is not enough for me to like for this New York Giants team to under. Six and a half is juiced to minus 145. It's still the only way I could look here. Looking at the Giants, they just don't have enough firepower when they're losing the games. Like when they, they get out early, maybe teams take them lightly. They get a lead. They, you know, are able to hold some of those. Last two years, when they're winning or tied at the half, they're 11, 2, and 1. They've covered all those games. And when they're losing at the half, 5 and 17, they just don't have the capability to come back. So. Not a whole lot to like from this Giants team. Would only look towards under six and a half wins. Last but not least, and I'm blanking out, it's the Washington Commanders. No wonder I'm blanking out because they're a bottom feeder. They are also listed at six and a half wins. And I'm not going to lie, I don't have a whole lot to say about this team. I already know. But um, you do have new head coach Dan Quinn. He was pretty good as a defensive coordinator for the Cowboys. I will see if we can have them, you know, Pretty good on that side of the ball. Eric Bieniemy. Just looking at how he was approaching things, um, sixty-nine point four percent of all plays were passes. That's number one in the NFL. When you're one-dimensional, one you become easy to defend. That's in any sport. And um, they had the most total pass dropbacks, six hundred seven hundred and thirty-six. Number one. So most. Percentage of their plays are passes, most dropbacks in the league, and yet, you know, big plays, explosive plays, plays of 30-plus yards, they only had 19. That's number 26 in the league. So that shows you they just don't have the talent there um, no matter how many times they pass the ball. And I'll say this, they did draft a quarterback, um, and sadly, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and bullshit you guys. Jaden Daniels, I didn't see, you know, a whole lot of them. I don't know too much of what to expect from him. But with what's around him, I just don't think he has that much to work with. They did add Austin Eckler. And, you know, name-wise, it does seem like, you know, a really good pickup. But as a Charger fan, you know, I can tell you he's been more and more on the decline um, as of late. So they do reunite him with his old coach, Anthony Lynn. Maybe he can get something out of him. But I don't have a lot of faith. I would not be – whole lot of faith in this Washington team I would not be betting this win total over six and a half so that is how I feel there when you look at the division as a whole you have the Eagles as the favorite minus 130 the Cowboys plus 165 the Commanders plus a thousand Giants plus 1400 I feel like this one is pretty you know process of initial elimination and, and straightforward two bottom feeders we're not really rolling with the commanders or the Giants. And the Cowboys, they have a tough go of it, a team that we could absolutely see quit. And um, a team whose defense is not going to be as good, in my opinion. Eagles team who has an easier schedule, 
Um, they lost some guys, but they did a good job, you know, filling those holes. And they still have a lot of talent on that roster. I feel like they have some things that are easy to fix. I would be taking Philly minus 130 as the favorite to win the NFC East division. And on that note, um, I, you know, I'm not the big promo guy, but I always want to let you guys know that all of my work can be found at wagertalk.com. Um, there's a link to my profile in the description. If you guys would like to be members to the YouTube channel, there will be some stuff for you guys as well. We'll send out these division winners to them as well. Um, let's get to a best bet. Oh, yeah. If you guys like the show, I'm helping you out at all. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Um, so you guys know whenever we do go live here. Best bet for this division. You know, it could be two things. It could be taking that division winner, because I really do think that's a solid bet. Or it could just be, you know, strictly playing against those Cowboys. And uh, let me go back over here, get to my notes page of plays that I have here. So Cowboys under has been taking some money. It did, you know, depending where you shop, it opened 10 and a half. It was down to 10 at minus 120. 10 and a half is used to minus 210. I think you can do one of those situations where you, you know, you combine the two to get a created line. And I, I think the Cowboys struggle to surpass 10 wins. Um, you know, I'll, I'll be surprised to see them get 10. So Cowboys under, whether it's 10, 10 and a half, whatever number you can get, that's the way out. That's the direction I would go for the NFC East. So appreciate you guys. We'll keep it rolling. And uh, drop another video shortly.